Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And I have an interesting machine that I wish to unbox for you all today. Now, you all know Mila, and it's probably what you think of when you think of German vacuums in the United States or SIBO. But there was a brief period of time where we had Bosch. And we had Bosch canister vacuums. Then also in the 80s, they brought in some uprights apparently, but those are super rare and hard to find. But I did find one of these brand new in the box on eBay. And the seller has multiple, so you probably could get one of these too if you wanted. However, there are no parts available for these, so that's why this is really a specialty item. In fact, they had delisted it by the time I wanted to buy it, and I had to send them a message asking them to make a new listing. So here's what's on the box. Here's what the machine actually looks like. Um, it's going to be red. You've got the feature set. This is stuck on, like I said, all this is very reminiscent of what Mila does uh, with their machines. So let's open this up. This box has been sealed for at least 15 years. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a date code and see here. I am so excited about this. I can't even say, like, I'm really excited about this. Oh, let's take a look at the head. <laughs> I'm immediately looking for date stamps on this. No date stamps, so it's never been used. Oh, there's no light on this one. I thought that I thought I was getting one with a light. Oh, look at those bags. Look how big that is. That's a type P bag. Oh, it's not the G bag. Okay. Man, that's big. And it's the gasket's still good. I'm super happy I've got an extra one of these because I didn't I didn't know I thought it was type G. Oh, and the manual. Ah. Uh, Wow, uh, 2003, uh, so it's 2021. That's how long this thing's been in a box. This is just as bad as Milo's manuals, looking at this, actually. It's a little bit more detailed, but it's still pretty bad and nondescript. Uh, if you're not good with pictures, you might not like these sorts of manuals. Uh. Look at one of these. Look at the size of this brush. Oh my gosh. That's big and it's got this the strange locking system that they used. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, we got a wand. All right, this is, oh. And the wand's got this paint on it. So this metallic, they called it graphite at the time. Mila used it. And he keeps using Mila as a reference because they're both German brands and they, they're very similar. First time that's ever been telescoped. <laughs> All right. And, oh, my. Ah, the, oh, I had forgotten about these. I had forgotten about these. It's been a long time since I've seen this. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> the hose. Is cracked. Uh, I wonder if that was from shipping or from me. I don't think that was from me pulling the attachment out. Oh boy. Uh, we're going to have to ask them. I'm going to have to ask them if they have a hose. Because this is, there's no way I can do this without this hose. Uh, so this is this tool that they had. We'll talk about this like this isn't broken for a second. So that was the crevice tool. And then it had this. You can see why a lot of people were not fond of that. Um, and then this is also your dusting brush and upholstery tool uh, right here. And the dusting brush comes out. Oh man, uh, that's a shame that that's broken. I will contact them because they have multiple ones. Maybe they'll open up a box and send me one. Uh, Let's see if anything else is broken. I hope not. This is, oh, she's gorgeous inside here. Let's just open this up. Oh. Uh. All right, well, that's the inside of it. 
Yeah, that's never been used. Though somebody had put the bag in wrong, like from the factory, or maybe they opened it up. Somebody opened this up and looked inside it at some point, maybe. Oh, okay. That's an interesting solution for the bag. All right. It's a beautiful painted color. Let's see if, let's see what kind of filtration we got. Oh, I have one of these filters. Uh, long story, but I have one of these filters. Okay, we have the HEPA filter, the gaskets around here. Oh, I don't think that charcoal, that charcoal is activated anymore. But that's cool, there's an activated charcoal filter in there. And all that just kind of clips and locks in. So that's very, very cool. We have speed control here and on off switch. And then these have like a, it's like an Electrolux style cord reel. Shame they didn't double box this like I asked them to. Oh. oh, a light turned on. It's so quiet. <laughs> That's what we got in the box. <sighs> I'm gonna say something. Everything I have gotten from eBay lately, like every other thing has been just trouble. And it's, it's not cause I'm screwing around. It's just the way it's been going. So I think I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna be buying a lot more from eBay. I, I kinda knowing, I knew which vacuum store this came from. So I was excited, but that's a shame that that came cracked like that. What? We'll have to contact the seller and see what they say. Uh, but yeah, that's the Bosch. And there's just a simple on and off for the power head on this. It's a real shame. Let's go over the controls. There's an indicator light. We have a speed control right here. It's so quiet. I love that about these. Uh, on off, and then the cord reel is the Electrolux. You gotta give it the right angle type of job. Um, and then the filters here and the bags here. And the full bag check indicator is electronic. Man, it's a beautiful color. It's a shame. Well, I'm gonna go back to my house with this regardless. All right, well, there wasn't any way I wasn't gonna vacuum with this. I was determined to vacuum with this. So here was my solution. A uh, little bit of tape, put some super glue in there. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to bond whatever kind of plastic they used. Uh, and there is, you know, 110 volts running through this. So let's give her a shot. Let's put the wand up. First time that's been used ever. Oh, that's a shame that broke. This is a pleasure to use. The uh, hose a little bulky, but you know, whatever. You know, it's a 2000s design, you know? Yeah. So that's what it's like to vacuum with this machine. I'm actually still very happy about having this. I've really wanted one of these. Uh, this is the, got the four wheels on the back. And when we compare this 
Let's grab my other Bosch and compare this to its little economy brother. You can see how much bigger it is. Uh, it's just fabulous. Let's. I want to read the specs on the back to y'all too as well. Um, yeah, it's fourteen hundred watts. Uh, that's fucking amazing. Uh, on there, it says fourteen fifty, but yeah, it's just a beautiful machine. It's a shame. Well, give this video a thumbs up. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters who made this happen. Uh, as well. Uh, and have yourself a wonderful day.